fans ready to put Pat Mahomes in the Hall of Fame after four games. The Jags coach called Mahomes a, quote, MVP quarterback, added right now he is playing better than any quarterback who has ever played. Hall of Fame GM Bill Polian added to the Mahomes hype, calling him a mix of Dan Marino, Aaron Rodgers, and Brett Favre. Mahomes and the undefeated Chiefs host Jacksonville on Sunday. Shannon, are you buying the Mahomes hype and praise? I'm buying some of it. Okay. Um, Doug Marone is 54 years of age, so he's old enough to have remembered Dan Marino's 84 season. Mm -hmm. He's old enough to remember Tom Brady's 2007 season, Skip, uh, Aaron Rodgers' 2011, Peyton Manning's 2013. Mm -hmm. Those were some of the greatest seasons statistically a quarterback's ever had. Mm -hmm. Seasons, mm -hmm. not four games. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Those are 16 game seasons. Mm -hmm. Doug Marone's talking about four games. And now, I get some of the praise that Bill Polian, because I said this uh, after the game on Tuesday. You see a lot of Aaron Rodgers, his ability to roll from the pocket, mm -hmm. left or right, throw the ball with accuracy, velocity. And then we do see some Brett Favre skip. The scrambling when he changes the ball, mm -hmm. that's some Brett Favre ish mm -hmm. that we would see from Brett Favre. Okay. Now, he's not the the kamikaze style, because you know Brett would go head over heels or to try to get a first down. We haven't seen that from Pat Mahomes. Hopefully we don't, because that took a toll on, on Brett's body. Yep. But I see some of the similarities. But Skip, I, not only do I need to see, see more, I need to see more of it before I say this is, the, you know, he the great season or greatest of all. I just named four or five, Skip. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there have been some great seasons that I probably left out. Mm -hmm. But this is four games. Can we slow down just a little? Mm -hmm. It looks like this kid has a great trajectory. Uh, Andy Reid's going to be there. The skilled position players are going to be around him. And guess what? His defense isn't that good. And like you just made the argument that Drew Brees, he's going to be in a lot of shootouts, and he's going he's to put up some numbers. Yeah. But Doug Marone, I get you. you're playing this guy with the hyperbole. Why can't we just say, man, this dude is off to an unbelievable start? I don't know if we've seen a quarterback start a career like what we've seen here. But the, after four games, jump to the greatest season? Come on now. We're just saying no quarterback's ever played better than he's playing right now. He said, this is only four games. Yeah. Can we check back 12 games later? Uh, that would be a nice thing. To yeah, that would, be, <laughs> that would be fair. <laughs> yes. And by the way, I know it was just checked down Alex Smith, as you call him. Yeah. They jumped out 5-0 and last year, and yeah. then they finished 10-6, and and they mm. lost a wild card team uh, game to Tennessee, after right? After being yeah. up. And you remember the classic 2013 season, Alex Smith's first year with Andy Reid, and they jump out 9-0. and I know it was just Alex Smith, but Alex Smith's pretty good. Mm -hmm. And then what happened to Kansas City? They fell back to 11-5, and and then they had that debacle disaster game at Andrew Luck. Remember, mm -hmm. they're up 38-10 to at Indy, and they end up losing 45-44 to to Andrew Luck when he sort of threw his way out of the hole he dug for them with exactly. his interception, <laughs> right? Yep. Okay, but that's it's been the history of Andy Reid teams. Whew, start quick fast. start because he's the offensive genius. He's got lots of tricks up his sleeves. And then all of a sudden, people start saying, oh, well, they, they're doing this now, but we could do that to counterattack. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, they start getting beat up and beat down because they're never a very physical football team, mm -hmm. especially on defense. And then things start going wrong. And as hot as they were last year, they went to to. To, uh, Jerry World, no, to okay. Jerry World for that game, and that's when my Cowboys weren't very good, and my Cowboys just dismantled them. Do you remember that? Yep. Okay, and then they just fizzled out, and I'm not saying they're going to fizzle out, but that's been the history of Andy Reid teams. Right. So let's factor that in. Could this kid be all-time great? Yes, yeah. he could. Yeah. He has shown flashes yeah. of all-time greatness. Right. But the other night, to three quarters, he, he wasn't very good. He was 15 of 29 barely over 50% for 151 yards. And then in the fourth quarter, he threw for 153 yards. Yeah. So he threw for more yards in the fourth quarter than he'd thrown for in the first three quarters. Right. And what did it do to his QBR? It sank it a little bit because it looked like he deserved a 95 or whatever, and he had an 84 because it factors in the whole game, right? right? Mm -hmm. And how many times the other night? I counted three times when he scrambled and flung it, just flung it. And he had one of the, he's on a magic carpet ride right now. And we see it happen for mm -hmm. X number of games for kids where they, they don't, 
they don't know what they don't know, you know, so they, they, they have no negative thoughts. He's got zero negative thoughts. Mm -hmm. So he flings it with such confidence that unfortunately for the opposition, they don't catch it. Right. You know, th there were balls that could have been intercepted. Yeah. Especially that one that got popped up by Sammy Watkins. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And they don't get intercepted because he's still sitting on 14 touchdowns to zero interceptions. I've said Devin Rowan is 54 years old. Okay. At the, through the first three games, you know the quarterback that had the greatest season ever? Ryan Fitzpatrick. <laughs> because no quarterback in the history of the game had had three consecutive 400-yard games oh, that's passing. Okay. That's what Ryan Fitzpatrick had. Okay. And guess what happened the next game, Skip? Because halfway through, he was on the bench. So can we just, just slow down just a little? I ain't saying bring the train to a stop. Yeah. But can we slow down because we're going too fast on these tracks? Yeah. Okay. And I know Bill Polian from my days at ESPN, and we used to do battle on the show I did on ESPN, and we used to go back and forth. We start out on Tim Tebow. He told me early that year in 2011, Tim Tebow should be a running back. He said he's John Riggins. Remember John yeah, Riggins? Yeah, John Riggins, I remember. Big old tough white boy, right? Yep. Just big old strong. What would he go, 240 Probably maybe? 240, 245. Yeah, right? Somewhere in there. And he could just carry the mail, man. And he could run. He was a, I, I think he ran track in high school. Yeah. So he was a big, fast mm -hmm. white boy. But he says, Tim Tebow's John Riggins. I kept saying, well, he's better than that because he can actually play quarterback. And then he just kept winning game after game after game. So whatever. And we know what happened in 2011. They won the division. They won a playoff game. Backed into it. Yeah, you know, they backed into the division. I don't know how they did it. You do know how they did it. Uh. Matt Prater kicking 68-yard field goal. Uh. Uh. An eagle come flying over the stadium, landing on the flagpole at 12, 15 a.m. A lot of things went right. Demarius Thomas, overtime, Steelers. Touchdown, game over. Tebow did it again. Yeah, wow. then we How go did to New England, that? and they yeah. get the brakes beat right. off. Well, because ev everybody got their brakes beat off in New England. But but the point was, okay, so Bill Polian is, is going all the way to Brett Favre and Dan Marino. I got to tell you, I'm doing my eye test. Mm -hmm. When they were in their younger days, Brett Favre and Dan Marino, and you talk about the 84 season or <laughs> any Brett Favre season in the first five, this is just my eye test, stronger arm than this kid has. They had rocket arms, like, like Brett Favre could throw it through a brick wall. Mm -hmm. He was country boy strong and could just fling. He could throw it as far and, and harder than Pat Holmes can wow. throw it. And Dan Marino had a rifle. Oh, yeah. And don't tell me that this kid's release is quicker than no, no, Marino's. No, 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 it's, it's not even close. Not. It's not even close. Come on, now that's no. just hyperbole. Yeah, exactly. I'm sorry, that's revisionist yeah. history. Yes. That's just leaping on the bandwagon. How fast can I say he's a Hall of Famer? Right. Okay, through four games, he's a Hall of Famer.